Howdy folks, I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be checking out some really cool pinball toppers that I picked up from Angel Otero over at This Ability Upgrades. For those of you that haven't seen my videos, I've been spending some time upgrading my At Games Adams Family 4K pinball machine and making it into a Superman the movie themed machine. I'll toss some links in here and there for some of those videos just in case you want to check them out. As I get the box opened up here, I'm going to speed things up so we can get to the good stuff. But I also want to give you a little backstory as to how I found Angel and how this all came about. Now, normally I like to give credit to the person that introduces me to someone or a product, but unfortunately I can't remember who posted the pictures of their Terminator topper in one of the various at games groups that I follow. But if that was you, dude, thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. So in mid-June, I reached out to Angel and I asked him, hey, would you be interested in making me a topper for my pinball machine? He and his designer, Brian, came up with some really cool options and ideas. In my opinion, they were so good, I just couldn't decide on which one I wanted. So I got them both. A week or so later, Angel sent over some tracking info and by July 6th or 7th, they arrived on my doorstep. Now, just a side note, I shot most of this footage when it arrived, but the summer being the summer and vacation hit, needless to say, I got a little sidetracked. With the prologue out of the way, let's talk about what we're seeing here. The first things that I opened were the LED stands. They're very well constructed, very sturdy, very well made. Sorry for the uh, bad reveal here. We cut off Superman's head, but here he is ready for action. I think it looks great. You'll notice too that when we put these pieces in, they fit in nice and snug. Not a lot of wiggle room. Uh, they really fit very well in here. Here's just a quick shot of, uh, of it. Uh, we're going to get this off to the side and we're going to get the other pieces open. First, we're going to start off with that uh, Superman the Movie logo again. As you can see, everything is very well packed. Um, blue tape is pretty easy to pull off. Uh, just takes a few moments to get everything pulled apart. All right, there's the last piece. Now, this one's my favorite. I mean, look at that. It looks like he's ready to go, ready to go out there and kick some ass. Couldn't be happier with how these turned out. So here's just a, a quick look of them um, at them side by side. I think these are great. Next, we're going to move on to the, uh, the bag of swag. Uh, so Angel included some nice little, uh, you know, extras, a nice little thank you card here. We have this uh, ability sticker. We have a very nice keychain, And this pin. This pin's great. I wish I wore jackets because this definitely would go on it. We also have the extension cables for the power supplies and the remote, which you'll see later. Now, for those of you that are photosensitive, the next section will contain flashing lights. I personally don't know anybody that has a photosensitivity, so I don't know if the rotating lights will present an issue for anyone, but I wanted to be cautious here. I will be dropping these warnings in before I show anything that I think may present a problem for those of you that have a photosensitivity. This way it'll give you a few moments to either look away or skip ahead to the next section. If you're photosensitive, now would be a good time to look away. With everything plugged in, I fired them up and this is what they began doing. Just this rotating color scheme, which I really like. It's, it's, it's a nice feature. I'm going to use a static color, uh, probably blue or white. A little later on, we'll demonstrate uh, some of the different colors and the rotation speeds, but just want to give you a quick look. After putting the topper on the back box, I noticed there was this little gap. At my height, I found it kind of distracting. I'm sure most people wouldn't even notice it, but I'm weird. So I reached out to Angel and asked if the nubs could be ground down or removed. He said that they were holding the panel in place and that I would have to glue the plate down if I decided to remove them. I was worried that if I pulled all the pieces out, and then tried to glue it together that I'd somehow screw up the base and I didn't want to ruin his hard work. So I measured the distance, did a little research and found these rubber mats on Amazon. I'm not even going to try to call out the size because 
I can barely speak coherently or string sentences together. The point is, I'm going to screw it up. So I'm going to leave links to the mat and everything else that I use in this video in the description to make it easier for all of us. Dropping the mat on the base and measuring things up, it's roughly five inches across. We'll kick things into super speed here for measuring, marking, and cutting. Instead of cutting lengthwise, which is 12 inches, I decided to use the width, which is nine. I like to use green frog tape as measurements are easier to see now that my vision's not what it used to be. If anything has to go, I'm glad it's my vision and not the old joystick, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> With the first piece cut, we're ready to move on to the second. You'll notice that sometimes the green tape leaves a little residual behind, but we'll cover cleaning that off a little later. So we're going to start with the five inch wide cut here. So we're just going to take the straight edge, mark out our five inch dots, run the line, oh, I missed the dot. Doesn't need to be perfect, just needs to be close. And we're going to mark out this piece here. It's 15 inches roughly. So we're going to add another piece of tape. Measure twice, cut once, do the dots, and then use a straight edge to make the line. Now, the mat underneath here is, is from uh, Gamers Nexus. As you can see, I'm cutting pretty hard on the mat here, and it doesn't even flinch. Uh, not that these guys are paying me or anything like that, but just wanted to make note of it. It'd probably be worth it to grab one uh, if you're doing this kind of work on uh, the bar like I do. So... Just rounded the edges a little bit. We break out the alcohol to clean it up a little bit. Use the fingernail here and there. But it takes a few moments and we're done. The next thing we're doing here is using some 3M double-sided tape. Four pieces. I know it looks like it's overkill, but I wanted it to be nice and even. So it takes a few minutes to get the tape off. Not so bad at super speed. Line everything up. Take the second piece. Line it up rub it down, boom, we're done. There's a slight little gap in there. Again, doesn't need to be perfect, but I think it looks pretty good. Now that it's on the back box here, we're gonna kind of dive in here, take a quick look, and you'll see that, you know, virtually no light. Certainly a lot better. The one thing I noticed too, that once they put the rubber mat on, it didn't move, right? I mean, it's not going anywhere. If you want to, Certainly, you can get these double-sided 3M uh, tapes, you know, the, the little squares, or I typically will use the circles, the round ones. Uh, you know, takes a second here to get them out of the package. They're, they're a little tight, but uh, certainly you can use the, the rounded 3M dots. Uh, you know, put them here, 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 and here and here if you want, but... I didn't really find it to be necessary. The next step here is to uh, run the wiring down into the, the back box. Oof. Man, talk about not being camera ready. I should have showered and shaved before I jumped in front of it. So with the back box open, now we move on to the playfield door. You'll notice this one looks a little different. I made it a while back to add air movement as the internal fan was running constantly at a high velocity. I also added a power strip so I can install a remote start, all while trying to avoid voiding my warranty. So with the power supply plugged in, now we just need to fish the extension wire, get it laid in the bottom all nice and neat. Then we'll wrap things up and uh, put the back box door on. Now this I was pissed about. While moving things around and getting ready for the next shot, I dropped the topper and I cracked it. Nice one, Clark. I know, right? So now I've got to reach out to Angel and be like, hey man, I'm sorry I broke your awesome piece of work. Hopefully though, I could take this thing out of it by saying, also, I want you to do something else for me if you'd be so inclined to do it. So hopefully I can make some more work for him. Here we have our warning. So if you're photosensitive, please skip ahead because we're gonna be testing out the topper. So even though it's cracked, put it up there, figured we can get it fired up. So here's, you know, it fired up. We used the remote start, got everything kicked on. And here's just that slow rotating or slower rotating um, flashing setup. So we're gonna turn the lights back on here and I'm just gonna do quick testing. So this is the white color 
Now we'll move on to the blue, yellow. Now you're going to notice that these colors individually don't really translate well on camera. That's okay. Uh, so we're going to try out this one here. This is like crazy, flashy, a little too much for me. This is the medium one that comes on when we first started the topper up. Here's another setting down here. That's again, a little too crazy for me. So we're just going to go back to the white and, uh, we're going to leave it here. Now, one of the other things that I noticed was this white cable. It was kind of distracting me as well. I know I'm weird. So initially I was thinking I'd use the shrink wrap here, but I figured that would kind of be a pain fishing everything around. Plus I didn't want to burn it. So uh, I elected to use some uh, electrical tape. We just do it right and right quick here. Now, Obviously, you want to avoid covering up the sensor because then the sensor won't sense, right? <laughs> uh, and we won't be able to turn it on and off or make changes to the color. So just a quick job. Looks pretty good. I mean, not perfect, but at least it's dark. And the way everything is going to be fished now, it's, you know, I maybe I'll use some uh, 3M clips and everything to kind of make it a little bit neater. But um since the other one's cracked, we're going to switch to this one. Now, Angel, this ability. If you like what you see here, hit him up on Instagram, Facebook. He does amazing work. Check out all his stuff. I, I can't recommend Angel enough. Uh, and if you're looking in through the groups and stuff, you'll see his name pop up. I've never seen anybody say anything bad about him. Uh, so, yeah, please check him out. Well, that's it for this one, folks. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down, subscribe, and give me another shot. Uh, if there's anything else that you would like to see me cover, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to do it. If there's anything that you'd like me to change or you think I could do better, again, please let me know. Uh, if you hung out for the end of this, thank you. Appreciate you sticking around. I uh, just want to say I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. And as always, stay safe, be well, and take care.